Hello everybody, welcome back, happy Friday. So this is a new background that you guys haven't seen before, but I'm actually in my bedroom. I bought an electric fireplace and like I need to sit in front of it because I'm obsessed with it. It's so warm, I'm sitting in my bean bag with Mr. Paddington behind me. And today we are going to be doing, I'm out of breath. Why am I out of breath? Um, today I'm going to be doing a new puppy haul. So I'm not hauling my new puppy. Um, I am showing a bunch of products that I bought for my new puppy, who is actually arriving tonight, like real time. Um, but it is Tuesday and you guys are watching this on Friday. So by now, by the time that you're watching this, my little puppy has arrived. And I'm going to be announcing her name on Instagram. So if I should know because you would have already known her name. So her name is Treacle. She is a black Pomeranian and I think she's around like five months old. And she is going to be the little younger sister. Not like actually related but they're from the same breeder of my current Pomeranian which is named Peddington and he likes to lick my nose it's gross like that look at you show everybody your little tummy your fuzzy little tummy are you ready to be a big brother he has no idea what's coming for him and um, I'm going to vlog like Trico's first week here and like Paddington's first reaction to her and everything so um that video is going to go up next Friday so stay tuned look at that little tummy he's just like standing you are just proud of you and you oh look at you little proud man with his tummy sticking out look at you oh, I love you so much I don't even know how I'm gonna love another dog like it's like another baby like oh god there's just gonna be so much cuteness in my house I'm so excited okay Anyways, the intro has been two minutes long, but it's been two minutes of puppy, so it's worth it. Okay, so um, luckily, a be luckily because I um, spoil Paddington so much, I've ar I already have like a ton of stuff, and I don't necessarily need that many new things for Treacle. Um, but there have been a couple things I need to pick up, so I thought I'd show you. So first things first is her little collar. Paddington is like so interested in this. So the <laughs> whoa. This is from, this is from Blueberry Pet, and it's extra small. Pomeranian necks are so tiny. Um, when I first got Paddington, I had to get a cat collar because they don't make dog collars small enough. So, like, look at this. Look at how tiny. It's too, it's too tiny for you. And it's not yours. So, anyways. And it has this really, really cute little, like, floral design. I love it so much. Um, and so I'm hoping it's tiny enough, but who knows. Also, everything I show will be linked in the description box below. I got this off Amazon. Paddington wants it. You think everything is for you, don't you? you oh, you're frustrated. Are oh, you so frustrated? You're like, mommy, give me the toy. That's not even a toy. Next, I got some, what are these? Um, toothbrushes for dogs. So, Pomeranians um, tend to have bad teeth. Paddingtons, according to the vet, are very, very good. I'm very, very proud. It's my first dog, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I bought some new toothbrushes. And um, I bought these ones because they come in a little case. And I figure I can label like one for Paddington and one for Treacle. And then just like alternate in between. And I got to get Treacle started when she's young so that she knows no different. Because um, Paddington's wonderful in that like he lays on my lap on his back. And like he gives me like a cut eye when I'm trying to... Um, brush his teeth but he lets me do it so we have to get Treacle to that level of like submission as well and next we have it's hard to pronounce this stick tick powder stick powder it stops um what are you doing it stops you all excited oh mommy yeah yeah you stick it stick it stick it uh so this stops bleeding when you're trimming your dog's nails and like you accidentally trim too short I haven't done that yet I sent Paddington to the groomer to get his nails cut because he has black nails and it's so hard. It's almost impossible to see like the quick or like where you should stop. Um, if your dog has like little like white or clear fingernails, it's so much easier to see. Um, but just in case, I figured I didn't have any, so it'd be good to pick it up. Next, we have still in the bag. Um, Nature's Miracle Order 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 Destroyer um, breaks down the odor, doesn't just mask it, so potty training. Paddington still pees on my rug. Oh my god. Um, so I got that because I needed more and because I'm gonna have a second dog in my house and I don't want to have pee all over my condo. Oh my gosh. Okay, next is still related to dog pee. 
Um, something called Turf Tastic. So I have a porch potty. I hope this isn't like too blown. Oh, it's just like overcast. It's a little dark in here, but we're dealing with it anyways. Um, so I have a porch potty, which is a little like square of astro turf that's sat in a little wicker thing and it has drainage built into it. So Paddington goes on top of that grass and then like piddles and then it drains into a little basin that I can like pour out. So that's what we use because I have a balcony in my condo and it's so easy, oh my gosh. Like when he needs to go, he just like waits by the door and then I just open it. So I, this is like the cleaner for the AstroTurf and um, you can purchase new like fresh AstroTurfs every so often, which I do like twice a year and I purchased another one now. But um, like in between when you want to wash it and kind of like it smells, it can really smell. So this helps remove the odor, but it doesn't remove it to the degree that your dog won't know that that's where they're supposed to pee anymore. So there's this, can I put it? Next from Henry Bendel is um, this little food dish, I'm very stripey today. So um, I'm obsessed with Henry Bendel for dog stuff because A, the quality is fantastic and B, it's cute. So this is something that Paddington thinks is his as well. You licking it? Are you giving me a kiss? This is, oh, this isn't yours. Uh, but I have two heart ones, which are like this on the side, but heart shaped and red in the middle. And I only have one round one. Um, and so I figured I'll get another round one so that Paddington and Treacle can now have like matching food bowls. Can you? Okay. <laughs> and I bought something else from Henry Bendel, but that's in the other room because I was showing it to my mom. So I'll get that in a minute. Um, next is this. So this is obviously a fire hydrant. And, um, it has something in it that encourages dogs to pill where you put it, not just because it's in the shape of a, of a fire hydrant. It's from the same company that sold the Turf Tastic and the, um, the Porch Potty basically, and this comes with your Porch Potties when you get it. But um, I wanted a second one because I got a second little like mini Porch Potty for Treacle because I don't know if she's not going to want to pee where Paddington did. I don't know if it's like a territorial thing. This is the first time getting a second dog for me. Like I didn't grow up with dogs growing up, so I have no idea. So just in case, I bought a second one. And um, I'm really out of order, but whatever. Okay, and then this isn't like technically dog related, but it's going to be for me. Um, this is from a store called Indigo in Canada and their bookstore, but they're really like upping their lifestyle section and I like love it. They have the cutest stuff. So I was shopping there the other day and they have like these little garden kits and I bought one for like pesto with like basil and parsley and um, I'm horrible at keeping plants alive but uh, I thought it'd be fun to try anyways. And this one has um, carrots and sugar snap peas and these are two of Paddington's favorite vegetables so I thought I would grow him and treacle some fresh veggies. Yeah, are you excited? Is mommy going to grow them? Is mommy going to forget to water them and then they're going to die? Probably. All right, next are some wet wipes for dogs from Perfect Coat Moisturizing Bath Wipes. Um, so Pomeranians, obviously they're very, very fluffy. And, and when they have soft poop, it doesn't just, just, just exit their body and where it lands is messy. The fur gets in the way and like, oh my God. Um, I'm sure you can imagine of what I've had to deal, deal with. So I need new wipes. Um, it doesn't happen like, too often Paddington's poop is like a healthy consistency but you never know sometimes it's soft so um, it's good to have a little bath wipes or like after they come in from outside if like their little feet are muddy um, or just like it's like a quick way to take a quick bath not as thorough as a regular bath but if they need a little wipe down these are really good and um, it's so frustrating because I bought a pack before I forget the company but like I used like a third of them and then the rest were dried out and I like made sure to steal the container and they were already dried out which was really frustrating but these had really good reviews on Amazon and they said like they were moist down to the last one so I hope that that works out because um, I need that. Also this which is on top of my fire place because otherwise Paddington will want it. This is a little alligator. It's called he's spinning because he thinks it's for him. It's not for you. It's not for you. No. It's a treat and it's called a whimsy and it's like a dental treat and it like cleans their teeth and keeps their brush, their breath tasting fresh. So I got a mini one for a treat girl because she's going to be like a third of the size of Paddington. These are his favorite treats. He already chewed on some today. Or on one of them today. No. So that's out of what? Out of his way. 
because I had it in like the bag over here and it just started like rifling through the bag so now he's all upset no you already had your cookie you already had it all right so also behind me is the the turf it's clean that's why it's in my bedroom um but yeah so this is just the replacement um oh, smells so clean I'm never gonna smell this clean again this is the replacement grass that's how big my porch potty is. Um, I'll link porch potty in the description box below. It's a little expensive, but I love it. Um, there are cheaper options that work pretty much just as well. So like it's, don't feel pressure to spend that much money, but I love it, I really love it. Um, and if you're in a house, you can hook up a hose to the drainage system so that it like, you can direct <laughs> where the drainage goes, which is awesome, so yes, okay. But I'm in a condo. All right. So next, I have some toys and a blanket for Trico. Oh, God, I didn't think they're his. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're not. Um. So what I read is that it's really important when you're getting a new dog for them to come home and have stuff that doesn't smell like the other dog, like stuff that actually is. I can't believe I'm getting her today. Oh my God, it's like just hit me. <laughs> it's important for them to have stuff that feels like it's theirs and that doesn't have another dog scent on it. So I bought these toys in this blanket a couple months ago and um, Paddington, no, thank God it's not hot, the fire, the fake fireplace, but don't, it's not for you. No. It's like so scary seeing him near fire, even if it's fake, can you see him? Oh yeah, there, there we go. Excuse me. Paddington. gonna be my life now okay. <laughs> um so yeah I bought her some toys so I'm gonna show you he's gonna run for this this is I bought this at my local pet store this is a cow so much for not smelling like another dog um and it like somehow splits in in half I don't know and it squeaks I'm not gonna squeak because it'll like make Paddington want even more and it's crinkly Paddington loves crinkly and you, know, you could like I know a lot of people you were probably saying like Paddington to just like leave the room. He's like always where I am. So um, if I locked him out, he would be crying at the door. So like we just gonna go with it. So this other toy is a milkshake because oh my god, no one can no one can see it, Paddington. Um, this is like a little cute pink milkshake. Look how cute this is. Is it like really bright? I don't know. It's hard to see in the viewfinder. Um, but anyways, yes, it is by. Play, Pet Lifestyle and You, American Classic, I don't know, I'm a foodie, I like food shaped toys, and I got another one, I didn't even know I was getting a girl, but um, everything I bought seems to be quite feminine, so it was like, somehow I knew, oh my god, Paddington, get alright, can you sit, sit, good boy, this is a bunny, and her, or it's um, little like arms, and legs, and lining of its ears are like a little like floral kind of fabric so it's really really cute does it says shabby chic it does look like shabby chic does it squeak i don't know i guess not but it's good to have a variety because i don't know what treacle likes um the reader says that treacle like she likes to play she likes to play rough with her toys but she particularly likes toys that fight back so aka paddington so um we're gonna see she seems quite feisty <laughs> no, no, i'm nervous um okay there's something else in here where did it slide to? No. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I also bought her a Kong because Paddington loves these so much. You stick like cheese or peanut butter in here. And it... Excuse me. Excuse me. Paddington. Nothing will stop him from getting to where he wants to go. You're a very determined little man, aren't you? Are you determined? You set your sights on something and nothing will stop you. Nothing. You're ambitious. You're so ambitious. <laughs> All right. So this is like the tiniest little one and it's pink. Like look how small that is. It's like, it's like two inches or something like that. So yeah, it's like puppy size. All right. And then next is the big blanket. It's so cute. And as soon as I show you guys this, this is going to go into like her little tent. Um, so I got this from Indigo as well, so that Canadian bookstore, and it was on sale, which was lovely. Um, so it's, it's a... You know what? It's not supposed to smell like you. Oh my god. Paddington. 
And it like walks over everything. Okay, so oh, God, it's like really blown out. Can I show you? Oh, you can kind of see it like this. Okay, so it is a blue and white kind of chevron pattern blanket. And is it this pattern all over? No, okay, so part of it just has like the white knit. Um, and then it has little gray pom poms in the corners. And then the other side of it is like a really, really soft, kind of like fleecy Sherpa material. So I thought that's really cuddly for her. And I have a coordinating um, a throw pillow, so like we can be all match matchy. All right, and so lastly, I have a bag from Henry Bendel. So this is um, like a little dog carrier, but it's like a purse, so you just carry it like this. And um, what's really, really great about it is that I can put you in and show them, but you're not wearing a harness. Um, on the inside, it's like lined, so it has a little like base that you can take out and wash because it's like the wipe down material, which is great. And it has a little cord here with a little clasp, whatever. It attaches to their harness, I guess, or their collar, but Pomeranians have really, really sensitive necks, so we have to use harnesses instead of collars. So this attaches to their harness, so they can sit in the bag, and you just take this bag with you when you go shopping, and they're locked in so they can't jump out. And then I just carry it like this, and I have one for Paddington as well, and like his face, his little head sticks out here, and he's just happy, and there's room for like extra stuff, you could put a blanket in there to make it nice and cozy, and um, the front zips down, so if they want to see more, you can like do that. Um, I don't think this is like for planes or anything, but it's just for like walking around and stuff like that. Um, Paddington's is slightly different. It's the same stripe material, but um, his handle is more firm and there isn't mesh. So I was wondering, I'm like, should I just put treacle in the same one that Paddington has and like fit them in together? But like, they're not stuffed animals, like they're animals and they move and they squirm and they get fussy and like, I just... I can just picture just like just chaos in a bag. So I'm like, you know what? I will act like a little like traveling horse or something like that. And I will have one bag on one arm, one on the other, and I'll walk with my dog and I will be that person. So um yeah. <laughs> so that's what this is. I love this so much. Or Paddington's version. I haven't used this one yet. Um, but I bought it when I, I bought Paddington's when I was in New York and I looked at it and I'm like should I get it? I'm not sure. I'm like, I feel like it'll be useful, but it's not like an exciting purchase. It's like a useful purchase. Um, and I, whenever I go out with my brand, it's so handy because like, even if I'm walking with him, like we're going out somewhere, we're walking and if he gets tired or when he was a puppy, um, we took him to the Eaton Center, which is like a large mall downtown in Toronto. And, um, he was like this big and he got a bit overwhelmed. So we just popped in the purse and he felt a lot safer because he was like next to mummy and stuff like that. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. Um, what did you get for your puppy when you got your first puppy or when you got your second puppy? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can see when Treacle arrives and her first week home. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, I can't believe it's tonight. I've gotten like barely any work done today because I was just like waiting. So picking up at the airport at like 10 p.m. because it's a late flight. So, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Anyways, Huntington, do you want to say goodbye? Come here. Come. Come here. Oh, the one time you don't want to go to the beach. Come. On. Oh, good boy. Oh, good puppy. Are you ready to be a big brother? Are you ready to share? To share the attention? He is not. Every time I've like had another dog in my condo and I'm like paying attention to the dog, he just like intercepts and walks right in front of them and he's like, "Come here, look at me." So I think you're gonna do this. Yes. Oh, 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 you like, let me go. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much, and I will see you on Monday for a new video. Bye. Oh, oh, before I go, um, if you guys don't know yet, my SD chocolate shop has relaunched, and um, every Saturday new flavors are launched, and this Saturday, yes, we are, <laughs> um, I'm launching some dark chocolate bunnies. So they are dark chocolate chocolates with um, a whipped dark chocolate ganache filling. I'm going to post a short video tomorrow, like, explaining what everything is. Um, but in, they're in limited quantities, so if you want to pick one up, make sure to rush because I only have like I think two boxes of 15 truffles each, and then I have some mixed boxes with dark chocolate and milk from last week because we still have some more milk left over. So, um, and make sure if you want some chocolate to check it out. I will have a link in the description box below, and I love you guys so much. And yeah, I will see you hopefully, I'll see you on Etsy. Say hi if you watch this video, and then whenever that same box of chocolate. But anyways, love you guys so much, and yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.